Good morning, YouTube family and Facebook family. How are you guys doing this morning? I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I am. Um, last week, I kind of talked about broken vessels and being able to uh, hold good water to where you can pour out onto other people. But one of the things that I, I wanted to talk about is something for myself. Um, I, you know, some of the things that I had had problems with was forgiveness, forgiving people, moving on from, from hurts and different things. Cause I can hold on to a heart like ain't nobody else can hold on to a heart. Um, Harold will be the first one to tell you if I get mad at him, I'll tell him about something that happened, uh, back in June, 2006, uh, one o'clock, something that he did. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot of women that's like that. You know, the husband forgets to take the trash out. And he's like, you forgot to take this trash out. Remember back in June 2007, you didn't take the trash out. And the dog got into it. You, we can recall some stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> so, But forgiveness is a wonderful way to heal your vessel. If you are holding something against someone, forgiveness, forgiveness. Because it empowers you on the inside of you. When, whenever you let somebody hold something over you, they've got power over you. But when you forgive them, forgiveness is a powerful, powerful thing. Because bitterness will set in. Hatred. There's a lot of things that will get into you. And now, your water that you've been trying to hold, your good, clean water... It's tainted. And when you go to pour water out on other people, you're going to help pull out that bitterness, that hatred, that ugliness, that meanness that's in you. Because I know. Because I carried tainted water around. I had trying to carry tainted water around in a broken vessel for a long, 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 long time. And like I said, I'm only able to do the things that I'm doing right now and walk in the things that I'm doing now. It's because I read my word every day and I pray to God. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't be holding water. I'd just be walking around a dry old bitter person that had no love and compassion for nobody. God is moving me into a place to do bigger and bigger and bigger things for him. Sometimes I'm amazed by some of the thoughts that come in my head. I'm like, me? You, you want me to do that? But we can. One person at a time can make things different. I, I, I was moved to start the cooking channel by just cooking and talking to people and showing some encouragement. And then I made a video where I poured, God just poured through me and poured through me and poured through me. And finally I obeyed him and I went and made a video. And I said, okay. The people are hungry on the inside of their self, just like me. They're hurting on the inside of their self, just like me. They need to know that God is real. They need to know that these things are real. And I'm going to tell you, I moved up where I moved, and I married Harold almost 15 years ago. I, I had walked away from God because I had went through a divorce, and I didn't think that I was a godly person anymore because divorce was not what was in the it was not supposed to happen for a Christian person but there were reasons behind that divorce strong reasons and I won't go into them because like I said I pray for him I forgive him I move on I pray that he has a wonderful blessed life because I have a blessed life but when I moved up here I was a different person and so some of the people who met me seen me as a different person so now that I have God has called me back into the fold and I have gotten myself into a place where I want to live godly there are people that when I see them I feel shame because I didn't walk a upright life before them I may have argued with them at a baseball game I may have argued with them at a basketball game I may have 
I may have said something ugly. I may have told a dirty joke. I may have done something. But remember, we're not going to be perfect. There may be tomorrow that I may accidentally put my toe in the mud. I may put a foot and I may put a leg. But conviction is what keeps us on the straight and narrow path. We can do it through Christ who strengthened us. We can do it. So I want to say, if there's somebody out there and you're watching my video and I have done you wrong, if I have led you the wrong way, if I have said something to you that hurt you, that offended you, I ask your forgiveness. And I forgive those who have said something wrong to me, who has hurt me, who has done things to me that I thought that I would never be able to overcome. I forgive you. That's in our perfect prayer. Our perfect prayer is, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And that is the perfect prayer that Jesus told us to pray. It takes care of everything. It praises God. It asks us for what we need. It gives forgiveness for our sins. We forgive those who have sinned against us. It asks us to keep us from falling from His grace. It's the perfect prayer. Today, I love you. I've kind of rambled a little bit. Sometimes I get on here and I'm thinking, what in the world am I going to talk about? I have scripture, but I, I, I don't, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a minister. I'm just a person who has to go through the trials of daily life. I'm, I, and I'm just trying to do a good thing. About three years ago, when I came back into the fold, I'll tell you what happened. I found out I had cancer. It was uterine cancer. And I had never really completely let go of God. I just hold his hand, let go, hold his hand, let go, hold his hand, let go. And that's how I had been walking through my Christian walk. But when somebody tells you that you got cancer, your life is flashed in front of your face really good. And slowly but surely, I began to grow closer and closer to God. Did I, did I live a perfect life? No. Will I live a perfect life today? No. And I think that that's why so many don't come to God. Because we put so much pressure on them to be a perfect Christian. There's so many people that are so judgmental in the church. We can't be judgmental. We have to open up the floodgates. We have to send out the lifeboats. And sometimes the lifeboat is going to go into the darkest places. Because that's where Jesus walks. That's where he walked when he was in this earth. They would tell him all the time, Why are you having dinner with him? Why are you supping with him? Why are you doing this? And he would say, Because they're mine. That's where I, ca I came to this earth for the lost for the person who was hurt and broke down the person who needed him the most you're loved today if you're on drugs if you're into all kinds of things you're loved you can change and you won't be perfect because he's not calling for a perfect person he's calling for you He's calling for me. I have done some things and I would be ashamed for the world to know some of the things that I've done. But he knows them. And he's delivered me from them. And he's forgiven me. And that's another thing. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself so that that vessel can hold good water. Forgive yourself. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a call. Everybody has a, a walk. 
When you see somebody who's on drugs, you don't see the story of how they came to fall on dr into drugs. When you see somebody who cheats on their spouse 15,000 times, you don't see the reason behind it. Am I saying it's right? No. <laughs> we keep pushing them away from God by being judgmental. We keep pushing them away from the one. We're the light. We're the reflectors of the light. Be a reflector today. Love somebody. Don't walk by somebody who, who you know. Feel it in your heart. Listen to the word of God. He'll tell you. He'll give you the words to speak today. We're called to love. We're called to love. I don't know how else I can say it plain. We're called to love. And like I said, if I've wronged you, love me. I love you. Because I have been bad. I have done bad things in my life. I'm not perfect. But I serve the one who is. And I just love you guys today. And you can do it. I say this every time. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. One baby step at a time. You can change the world. Good vessels pour out good water onto good people. They pour out good water. They pour out good water before you know it. We're living in a world of love. We're living in a world of kindness and peace. I love y'all today. I hope my ramblings have, were something you could understand. And like I said, remember that everybody's path is not your path. Keep your judgments off of them. Just pour your love on them. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Until next time, I'm Grammy Nene. Hope you've enjoyed this word on Encouragement Wednesday. Have a blessed day.